Want to know what's hot? Get all the dish coming up next. How can you possibly afford to design the space around them? Just ask Lori Dennis. You'll find her in that bargain hunter's paradise, Beverly Hills. Everybody wants to redo their kitchens and their bathrooms, and they're usually the most expensive rooms in the house. I thought if I could package it and do all the work up front, I'd be able to offer people a real bonus package for a real good price. Give Lori a thousand bucks and she'll do all your legwork, putting together a series of design packages with all the styles, appliances, and costs laid out for you. Lori makes it simple by offering you 18 unique design combinations, each based on a different theme. You can customize them if you want, but you probably won't have to. Lori's pretty good about doing her homework. The reason why I chose Dennis Design Group is that they're very innovative. They know what you want and they've, she guided me in the right direction. And by using her, customers get to buy at the designer's huge discount. The cost per room is unbelievably reasonable. I mean, it paid for itself ten times over. The service I received today was so worth the money. Um, I can't find a better deal than this. I was approached in the bathroom at a trade show by one of the designers, and she was throwing a fit that I'm not charging enough, I'm not charging enough. But I think it's high time that we're able to bring high style to everyone out there, um, and not just the very elite and wealthy people, and give everybody nice customization, high-end design. Other designers might not be thrilled, but some people sure are smiling. Will our design experts rise to the challenge? Let's meet them now. First up is Lori Dennis of Dennis Design Group. With over 15 years of experience, Lori Dennis enjoys designing architecturally appropriate interiors. We're very lucky in this case that the Thread Girls do have a very realistic budget for us to work with. We find that every single period design we see from the arts and crafts period has this hex tile and has this white subway tile. So we try to use a little bit of it and do a seamless glass. Coming up next, the best of. We have interior designer Lori Dennis of Dennis Design Group stopping by with a great spread here. Lori, great to have you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Uh, you know, what's surprising about this, it looks so elegant, and the bottom line you keep saying is it's so easy. What do we need to do? Well, I like to call this table setting simple elegance. And basically, have you ever noticed you walk into some parties and they just seem great before you even oh, yeah. start talking or drinking? And it's all about the presentation. It's the okay. attention to details. Now, some of the things that I like to make sure that I do at parties is mm -hmm. the flowers you mentioned. Yes. A lot of people buy them from the store and stick them in a vase and they're afraid to cut them. Okay. So they have flowers at this height <laughs> and you can't really see guests and it kind of inhibits your conversation a little bit. Yes, so would. don't be afraid to cut the stems okay. and put those right in the center so that people can actually see each other. What if a little laid back though what if it's hamburgers and hot dogs for the kids still do it up like this well you could if you wanted to how much more fun would it be to eat hamburgers on such nice dishes <laughs> you could also do is kind of maybe make the theme a little bit more catered toward hamburgers maybe have a checkered tablecloth oh, there you, go. Uh, like you could it. have some baskets with some vegetables in it like the things you're going to eat with the hamburgers paying attention to the details trying to think about ways to make it a little bit more special and don't be afraid to pull out the china Absolutely. even for hamburgers i love it Lori dennis with some great ideas Joining us live in studio is home expert Lori Dennis. Good morning. Good morning. All right. We're going to start off with uh, a mojito. What is a mojito? It's the hip new drink in all the bars. And if you're tired of serving beer and wine at your parties and you want a little lemonade with a kick, um, mojito is a good thing to do. Now, is that kick the mint? Is that mint that I see there? That's the rum. <laughs> Oh, the kick is the rum. Okay, gotcha. I make mojitos so often, I grow the mint right in my Look at that. right in my windowsill, so, so I can just fresh. That's whip why it the up. That's why mint smells so that good. That is this exactly morning. why. So then you load up on the ice. Isn't it great? And then mix it up. But it's uh, a hot new drink that will keep all your guests cool, and it'll definitely keep them coming back for more. All right. Well, cheers. And let's uh, let's cheers. try this. 